Hi guys, Leo here from Old School Minecraft and I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on telling you guys how to install the Hydra Client slash the Old School Minecraft Launcher since I've been seeing a lot of people you know asking in the discord about how to how to download the launcher um, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to do that basically so first of all you want to head over to oldschoolminecraft.net um, I mean the, the link for the website will be in the description just os-mc.net or oldschoolminecraft.net or oldschoolminecraft.com all are on screen right now and then you just want to head over to the register page and create an account I would recommend you use your premium account username here unless you don't have a premium account just use a crack name if you aren't, haven't got a premium account uh, once you've registered the account you can log in once you've logged in you know you can um, change your skin uh, upload a cloak if you're a contributor and manage your account and all that, all that kind of stuff um, changing your skin right now is currently a bit buggy so I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you're on a cracked account if you're on a Mojang account then your skin from Mojang will, will be seen when you log in uh, then you just want to head over to download latest and click download I've already got it downloaded so I'm not going to do that and it's going to be old school minecraft or osml.v22 that's the latest version of the launcher now if you run into any issues when trying to open the launcher you want to head over to the obdoptium.net which I'll have linked in the description and you just want to download latest LTL release so once you've done that you should be able to launch the osml.v22 without any errors and um, then you can type in your username and your password and you just want to hit login and then as you can see you're now on Hydra Client 1.2.6 now if you don't want to use our launcher but you still want to use the Hydra client you can do so on MultiMC or any other kind of variation of MultiMC. So you just want to head over to the Discord server and you want to scroll up in the announcements channel until you find Hydra client. Moderator has just announced 1.2.6 has been available which should fix skins. It fixes Mojang skins but I'm not too sure about um, OSM skins. I think that's still a bit buggy so you know keep that in mind if, you, if you're trying to upload a skin through our website. And you just want to hit download minecraft.jar, continue download. Uh, once again, I've already got it downloaded, but you know, just save it. And then you want to head over to MultiMC, hit edit instance, replace minecraft.jar, and then scroll down until you find minecraft.jar, hit open. And then it should say custom jar. It should work fine. If you just click launch, like me, it works just fine. So as you can see, HydroClan 1.2.6, but you may have some issues, which um, some people have experienced. If you head over to settings uh, and to your Java installation, you want to hit auto detect. And if you do not see um, Java 1.8.0, then you just want to head over to Adoptium once again. Um, the link will be in the description for this. And you just want to hit download JDK. This is going to download Java 8, which is the version you need to run the client on MultiMC. So you can just find it once you've installed Adoptium um, 8.0, Java 8. You should just be able to find it in here. It will probably be, it will probably say 1.8.0 or something similar um, and just click OK. And then you should just be able to launch. And as you can see, the client launched. You can head on a server. And we have an auto login feature, which um, should be enabled by default. And yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm upside down, but you probably won't see that. But as you can see, I mean, well, Beezle, yeah, here we go, Beezle skin. Look, hey, he's got a skin. Skins are fixed, yay. Anyways, that's gonna do it for the tutorial. If you have any more issues or any problems, feel free to make a ticket in the Discord server, but that pretty much summarizes everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.